one thing you might hear a lot of talk about, especially when it comes to, to good hitters, is something called a run batted in. Run batted in. And this is you generally shortened, we just call it an, an RBI. So you might hear somebody say, you know, how many RBIs does that guy have? So let's let's take a look at how you get credit, you know, for an RBI. And and so the the first way is that there's a play that's that unaided by error, and and it's a, a pl play begun by a batter's safe hit that a run you know scores on. So RBIs basically they're looking at, at and they're giving credit to you know guys who who have have gotten a hit or or you know done some some positive action, and and that allows a run to score. And so you know we kind of use RBIs as a way to. You know, keep track. You know how many times have you have you helped out your team by by getting a run to score? So let's write down this first one, and we say 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 there's no errors on the play. On the play, and 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 it's a a play a play begun by a a batter's safe hit. So that's 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 basically a way of saying you know if if there's a runner on on we have our batter we have a runner on third base and so I guess probably that one of the simplest ways is just that, that this batter he would get a hit you know it's a ground ball to the outfield and and this runner he would come home and he would score so then then the the batter you know he'd, he'd get a single and he would also get credit for an RBI. Say in the situation there are two runners on base, and this this batter he comes up and he hits one, you know, really deep, way out. Maybe it even you know bounces off the wall. And 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 both these runners score. So this guy would come home, and then this guy would also have enough time to go to third and then come home. The, and the the runner, you know, he'd probably get a double out of it, so he would be standing here. But it doesn't really matter as long as he's 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 got the safe hit. He would get credit in that situation because because this runner scored and this runner scored, so he would get credit for two RBIs on that play. And so this the the rule book says that RBIs obviously they also include home runs. So, so let's say the bases are loaded, all, you know, all three, first, second, and third base have a runner on, and, and the, the runner, or the batter comes up, and he hits, he hits, let's make it white because it's the ball, and he hits the ball out of the park, lands, you know, on the other side of the fence, you know, maybe there's a lucky fan out here who, who, who catches it, and this would be a, a you know, it's, if the ball goes over the fence, it's a home run. And, and, and in this case, not only is it a home run, but because the bases were loaded, a home run with the bases loaded or something we call a grand slam. And that means that if you add all the, the, the runs up that scored as a result of this play, we have one, two, three, and then the batter would also score. So we have four runs score on that play because of the batter's action. So the batter would get credit on that play for four RBIs. And, and that would be, you know, as you can see, you know, all the bases are taken up. So that's the most you can get on one play is, is credit for four RBIs. So so his, his safe hit or, and then the other part of this is it doesn't actually have to be a hit. It can also be and out and in the case in the case that it would be an out it would be something like a, a sacrifice bunt or or a sacrifice fly so if if say so rather than, than going over the rather than going over the fence here this ball only went went this far, and it was caught by and the left fielder, and then this runner here 
tagged up and he ran home. So the, the, the batter would then be out and the run would score. That would be a sacrifice fly. And, and and the runner would get credit for the the RBI. So I undid these and my the out disappeared, so let's put that back here. Hit or or out and so that we could list them we say like a, a sack fly or bunt or or an even an, an infield out. So if if there's a runner here on third base and the batter grounds out to to the second baseman, he gets a ground ball here, and the second baseman throws him out of first base. If this runner runner here scores, then that would be he would still get credit for the RBI because the run scored, you know, as a result of the play that he started. The second way. Uh, uh, that you can get credit, you know, for an RBI means that the, the kind of relies on the fact that we're starting the play with the bases loaded. So we have the, this play set up, and so it might seem kind of kind of like a, an easy way to to do it, but but any any way this guy gets on base, even even in the in an automatic kind of one of those automatic ways to get on base. The run scores. He gets the RBI. So even if he doesn't get a hit, say the first pitch comes in and it hits him, then he would get an RBI. Or if he if he walks, if he walked with the bases loaded, you know there's nowhere else to put put the guy on. So this runner would come home and he would score. You know everybody would move over one base, and the batter would get credit for the RBI. So, so, we'll say, let's write that out. So, a, a batter becomes a runner with the bases loaded and, and uh, forces in a run. And so, so that's the, the second way. 